26. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentrations of the ions in a saturated solution of each of the following, and then see Appendix J for solubility products. And then we have barium fluoride. So what I did do is I did go to the Appendix J to find out the solubility product. Remember, the solubility product is just a KSP. So the KSP for BAF2 is 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. But without a KSP, right, with, I mean, without a balanced equation, uh, ah, let's try that one more time. Without a balanced equation, the KSP is nothing. So we have to write down what this is going to break down into, right? With KSP values, you're always going to start with your solid. So that's the BAF2. And then it comes to equilibrium because we're discussing K values. And it comes to the two ions. So the break has to be between the two elements, barium and the fluorine. Now let's just figure out what those charges are, right? Barium is in group two, so that's always a plus two charge. And the fluorine is in the halogen group. If it's bound with the ionic, with the metal, right, ionic compound, it's a negative one. Since they have charges, they're aqueous, so they go in the KSP expression. And I just have to balance this. There's two fluorines, so I just have to put a two in front of here. Okay, the next thing is I'm just going to now make the general equation for our KSP equation. KSP only equals the products because no solids allowed. So let's see, KSP equals, it's gonna be the concentration of the barium times the concentration of the fluorine and now just make sure that you're raising it to their coefficients. There was no coefficient in front of the barium. That means that there was only one of them. And there was a two in front of the fluorine. So the barium can be raised to the first, but the fluorine has to be raised to the second. Oop. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start plugging things in that I know. The KSP is going to be that 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth but I don't know what these concentrations are. So I'm just going to go back to my equation and write out variables. Keep in mind that this is a saturated solution, which means that there's no common ions being affected and that you start initially with nothing in the beginning. So we can just use our variable X. So barium would be labeled as X and you just have to match it with the coefficient. So this would technically be one X, but one times X is just X. But when we come over here, when I label this as x, this has to be 2 times x because it's a 1 to 2 ratio. And these numbers are what's going in your KSP expression. So the barium is going to be the x value and the fluorine is going to be 2x. Now let's do the math. 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth equals... Let's see, we have x times 2x squared. 2x squared, you have 2x times 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. So I can just erase all of this and say that this is the same as 4x squared. I'm pulling together uh, one more x. So the whole thing here would equal, actually, I'll put this on the bottom. So I'll put this on the bottom. Times 10 to the negative fifth equals 4x cubed. Divide by 4, divide by 4. That's the first step, right? Divide by 4. So now I'll put it over here. Let's see, 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by four is six times 10 to the negative sixth, and this equals x cubed. So you can do the cube root if you want. I just like to raise this to the inverse number, right? Three is the same as three over one, so if I just raise this to the 1 over 3, that will cancel this out. And whatever you do on that side, you have to do on this side. So I just raise it to the 1 third. 
And now maybe if I can, I'm just gonna pull all of this over just so that I have a little bit of room for my X value. So let's see, this will cancel. And we're just gonna raise that number to the one third. And I get 1.8 times 10 to the negative second, and that's molarity. Now they just wanted the concentration of the ions. So that's when we just go back to the equation and say, okay, barium was just X and the fluorine, the fluoride ion was labeled as 2X. So for this one, barium would just be the X value, 1.8 times 10 to the negative second molarity. But then you would have to plug in the 1.8 times 10 to the negative second times two. So 1.8 times 10 to the negative second times two, 3.6. 3.6 times 10 to the negative second molarity, two times more than that of the barium. And those are your two answers. Calculate the concentration of all the ions. There was only two of them. And that's it. So, I really hope this uh, helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this channel exists. I thank you so much for that. Uh, we're, tr we're, we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. It's absolutely incredible. It's all because of you guys. I would never guess that, you know, that that's a really big number. Uh, it's crazy. But I'm really glad that we're helping you out, and, and that's that's basically our goal for this channel, all right? Thank you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.